George in Chicago writes to me with a rather simple question, but it's one I'm not sure a lot of people know, so I think it's worth, worth uh, talking about. And George says, can I play my CD player through a higher quality DAC? Or maybe the question should be, can the DAC in my CD player be bypassed? Well, the quick answer to that is yes, absolutely. Simple, easy peasy. On the back of every CD player I've ever seen from a $29 Walmart special or Target special to the fanciest ones around, all of them, without exception, have a digital output, an RCA connector on the back, the little, you know, that just pops in and, and some of them have a toss link, which is a fiber optic cable. And for the most part though, they're, they're the RCA kind. But in any case, whether you have a toss link fiber, uh, uh, you know, optical cable, I think they're, they're called, or the RCA, there's typically a digital output on the back of all CD players, and that plugs right into a DAC without a problem. Okay, so maybe it's helpful to talk a little bit about what's inside of a CD player. So a CD player is composed of two elements, a transport mechanism, which is the spinning platter that you put your CD in or it sucks it up. You put your CD on that, it spins the CD. There's a laser in a laser that goes in and a pickup and the laser shines on the pits as it spins around and keeps track. It's pretty, pretty wild technology actually. Uh, and there's a pickup and that pickup gets the, the, the ones and the zeros off of the disc. That is then put into a buffer of some kind, turned into a format we call I squared S, which is internal to the DAC and external. A lot of our products, um, we, we provide an actual I squared S output which is unusual on a CD transport, and it's much better sounding to have that going into your DAC if you have it available. But that's not, that's not normal. That's a PS Audio thing, and, and quite a few manufacturers have followed our lead on that and use our format for I squared S, which is great, and, and that's why we publish it, make it uh, easy for people. But in any case, that's the internal communication within the transport itself. And that, that consists of a couple of clocks and some data lines all going separately over to the internal DAC, D to A converter, digital to analog converter inside of a CD player. And what comes out is audio that you can listen to on your headphones or on your speakers. So along the way, that I squared S output has a, a little chip in there in, in every CD player I've ever seen that will then multiplex that down into a single stream called SPDIF, um, the Sony Philips digital interface. And that's that, that optical output or that coaxial output on the back of every CD DVD player I've ever seen. And that'll go directly into your DAC and then it gets broken back out again into that I squared S format we talked about and voila, you have music. So, okay, so easy to do, and it's a good thing to do. Uh oh, uh oh, we're getting something. Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. You know, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Some Toyota is missing, I, and I gotta know about this. Oh, good grief. Okay, well, right, perfect timing. <laughs> I'm leaving that in the video. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye.